Oh, wow, Lisa's back. Pinky Beige Nude Lips. Five flattering drugstore Pinky Beige Nude Lip Combos. I can't fucking wait. Where is the fucking apology, Lisa? Sorry, that's my stomach. It's complaining that I didn't have bread and butter with my stew. <laughs> my husband just came up with a coffee and I said, that people are not happy with you, you know. How dare you give me a stew without dumplings or potatoes or bread? I'm Irish. I need them things. Anyway, shall we jump in and see what the fuck this one's all about? Sure. Are you going to a holiday party soon and you... No. You would like to have a fabulous nude lip combo to help you stand out? That is what I like. I... Would you like to have a nice dull lip combo that makes you stand out? How does a nude lip combo make you stand out? It doesn't. Stomping in, letting everyone know you're there with a red lip. That draws attention, not a nude one. And then she follows it up with, that's what I like. Yeah, we know what you fucking like. Oh, she's wearing sequins, folk. Sorry, <laughs> I dropped the S off her there. Are we allowed to wear sequins or are sequins frumpy? <laughs> Sorry. I like to dress up, but I like to keep my hair at kind of like a natural style, something I would wear all the time. Think kind of like Carrie Bradshaw or something like that. Carrie Bradshaw. I never watched Sex and the City and I have no intentions of because that's all Lisa ever droned on about so it put me off it entirely but how old is that program Lisa? I like to wear my hair normal with a nude lip well off you go because you never go anywhere ever Kate Moss I like that undone, effortless look in my makeup and my hair, and then pair it with a fabulous dress, a fabulous pair of shoes, simple but statement jewelry, and bag. So that's what we're going to do today. So okay. I'm going to start off from the lightest and go to the darkest. All of these can be found at Walmart. And I've got a... Are they paying you for this one? Because you're not saying they're not, so does that mean they are? And can you stop with the, some of the links are affiliate? You're supposed to say which ones are so people know. YouTube should have fucking told you about that. But no, they let her away with whatever the fuck she wants. Her and Lardy do what they like. Where other people don't do anything wrong and they get their channels taken away. Or 60 subs are gone overnight. Thankfully, the person that had their channel taken away is now back, so I'm very happy. If you're watching, you know who you are. A pile of lip products here. Now, my lip products are kind of like my clothes and my home decor and everything else. When Drab. you buy things that you like and that are true to your style, you will be able to mix and match and come up with all kinds of different combinations. And that's what I do. What do. I'm going to start off with the lightest lip liner and this is the NYX Natural. So Do you remember when she was calling NYX NYX for ages and people kept telling her it wasn't NYX and she wouldn't listen? This is just going to give us a... That's not light. Natural extended lip line. So that's your lightest lip liner is it? Brown, dark brown at that. Is she still in the I am Naomi Campbell phase? Oh, that would make a great thumbnail, wouldn't it? <coughs> Unless we come across anything else. Let's do that one. What was that woman's name in fucking thing? The Muppets. I'm going to find a picture of her and put it in. I would say these lip liners, the NYX, are for someone that doesn't love lip liner. They're not going to be 
stark. They're not going to last forever, but they do create a nice frame. So if you're nervous, start off with one of these. Nervous. See how it's just giving me a very natural lip line. And I like to line my lips from the outside in. I think if you do from the inside out, it's just natural to kind of go down and it just doesn't give you as round and as full of a lip. Right. Are we taking notes, folks? How have you got your notebooks right there ready? And I go on the very I'm end. I'm sorry, how much fucking makeup has she got on? Can you see that line round her nose where it's completely caked? And all the lines under her eyes should be onto them next. Edge of my lip line. I do have to say though, she's got amazingly white teeth. If I'm jealous of anything, and I'm not, it's the ensuite bathroom and the white teeth. Like that. My mom does her lips like this too. That's where I got it from. Well, you would, wouldn't you? That's what you do. You copy your mother. And then Only I didn't have a mother to copy because she never taught me anything. Apart from the fact that I was fat and stupid and all the rest of it. And I always kind of like rub my lips in like I went too far there. So that gives you a nice and I like kind of a worn in look. I don't want to look like I'm trying to be too perfect. A lot hmm. of times I prefer to go to a party with makeup that I've had on for a few hours and then just touch it up. So when do you go to a party? You don't. You used to go to John's work do at Christmas. That was it. Once. I'm going to start with a light peach. This is the Wet n Wild. I think it's called, yes, Peach Passion. It's very pretty, very glossy. That looked like Pat McGrath. Are they take Ooh. Are they copying Pat McGrath? Or is that a Pat McGrath lip? Because Pat has them lips on her. Th Ooh, naughty, naughty, wet and wild. And I fucking hate the way she does that. Rubbing her lips together. Doing a fucking O face. I'm sick of it. Did you see her with the cashmere fucking jumper? Ugh. I'll have nightmares tonight over that. Because of the consistency, you really don't need a gloss with this one. It's very glossy. I think if you did try to put a gloss over this, it would not be good. It would just kind of go everywhere. But that is a fabulous, fabulous peachy nude lip that I think just looks great with a holiday look. Okay, this is another thing. I don't usually remove my lip combos. If I want to move on to something else, I will just kind of blot my lips. But for today, I am gonna use the Garnier Micellar Water. What happened to them lip remover things you had that you swore by? Went out and bought packets of these things to take your lipstick off with when a fucking wet wiper do. Do you know what I mean? Any excuse to spend money. And remove that. Dry off my lips. And then I'm going to take this Eco Tool sponge and kind of go over them like that and that gives you more of a clean slate no it doesn't okay. it gives you fucking foundation on your lips so now nobody knows what the color looks like really because you oh, fuck's sake. so the second combo that we're going to do is going to be a little bit it's still going to be light but it's going to be more dramatic so in this one i went to walmart last night to try to get new everything so it of course you did you had to go shopping god you couldn't actually do a video with all the millions of fucking nude lip liners and lipsticks that you already have. You had to go shopping because this is a special video that you have to buy stuff for. Pathetic. It would look pretty, but these were out. So you might want to order in case your store is out. But these L'Oreal matte lip liners are amazing they are as good as any better than any high end i love them 
So Matt Str So why do you keep buying more? What was it you said? When you find what you like, double down and buy them all or whatever. So buy every colour of those. You're set then. You don't need anything else, do you? But then what would you do? You'd have nothing to shop for, would you? Your mind is a good go-to for just any colour. I think you can go peach, you can go brownie nude, you can just go anywhere with this. So let's start with this. It's going to be a little bit more pinky. I'm sorry, it just looks brown to me. See how easy it went on compared to the NYX. These are just, they're good. Okay, and the lip I'm going to use if you want a light. I've actually got two of them. Have I got two or three? Lisa, shut the fucking door, please. I don't want to see into your bedroom. And you'd stand out more if you had the fucking door shut. She's allergic to fucking shutting doors, isn't she? Shutting doors and S's. They're not in her world. <sighs> Where's my other one? Yeah, I have three. These three are great if you want a light, light, old school, like we did when we first started YouTube, lip combo. This one is gonna be your most, your lightest, and that is the Catsuit in Caught You Bare Naked. This is a really good one. It's the Loyalist from Maybelline, and then this is a beautiful NYX. This is Milky Gloss in Milk and Honey. So I think I'm gonna use the Milk and Honey because I think it is the most mainstream. Okay, and like all of my lip combos, they had to wear in a little bit. There you go. So take your finger and just kind of work that gloss into the liner. And it's going to give you this. Or maybe don't wear a dark liner and then you won't have to. Oh, I love it. I love it. And each one of these, I am taking a photo on my phone so you can see in different lighting but that that is a good one and it will just get better and better and better as the night goes on okay while I'm waiting I was thinking I wanted to let that one kind of blend in a little bit I wanted to show you some things that I picked up last night Will and I went to Walmart and oh I bet Will absolutely fucking love that being dragged around the lipstick aisle with his mother and it's different now. Will just got a few things just because I think he was with me. But Brooke now, she appreciates toilet paper, paper towels, anything like that. So they had all of their gift sets out and I was gonna just show you a few that I picked up. I thought this one was really good. So these would be great as gifts or stocking stuffers or for yourself. But this is the Dr. Teal's Aromatherapy Wellness Candle Trio. I guess I'm going to give this to her. I might have to get another one for me. But it's the lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood. Doesn't that sound amazing? See how she doesn't want to part with it? This, used, this is what happened when she used to go Christmas shopping. One for them, two for me. That's all she ever did. Shop for herself. That's the candle for that one. Eucalyptus, citrus, and spearmint, orange, sage, and bergamot. Uh, awaken the senses, uh, uplifts the mood, relaxes and calms the mind, helps promote a better sleep night. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we might have to get another one of these. Mm -hmm. And then I grabbed her this little razor type thing. Now that she's not here grabbing mine, I just grabbed that to give to her. And then Will got this. I don't know, you know, if you guys are into the Marvel. John and Will go see those movies or are into the Marvel movies and shows and everything so we grabbed this he was out of his normal that i'm going to show you and he used it last night and he said he liked it he used the shampoo and conditioner and the body wash i don't know if he used the deodorant he took everything out of here so i think he did and then i went ahead and just got this because this is his typical go-to and it smells so good you guys when i 
My thinking when I started him on this, he was younger. He didn't care how he smelled. But when a teacher comes around my child, I want them to smell good. I want them to have clean teeth, be clean. And I want teachers to want to be around my children. That's how I always thought. That's just fucking weird. I want teachers to be around my children. I want my children to smell nice and be clean and have clean teeth. I don't want teachers hovering around them, sniffing their hair. So I loved that he smelled so good and he really likes that um, body wash and all of that stuff. So it's kind of like, this is funny, but it's kind of like his signature scent. He always smells so good. So I grabbed those. Now let's Wow, that is the first time ever I've heard her say anything nice about Will. It's in an indirect sort of way because she bought it for him. But still. Ooh. Is he getting more attention now Brooks left? Let's hope so. Let's look at this. See how that lip combo's already worked in? Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I don't know which one I'm going to wear today. Okay, so let's take this one off and then go on to the next. We're going to get a little bit darker this time. Okay, and I'm going to go over and I recommend you doing this too. If you are, if you take off a lip combo to put on another one, who does that? everything goes on better if you put, we'll put a little bit of the just residual makeup on your lips. It helps your lip liner be more true. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, let's see, I've got so many good ones here. I know a lot of people really love this, the infallible petal. I love these, and I also love these, the Revlon Ultra HD. Those are good too. Oosh. And okay, I don't want to go too dark. So let's do. Oh, God forbid you go too dark. You do realize you're only catering for a small amount of people doing all nude. Are you going to come back and do another one where you do berries and reds and all the other colors? Oh, see, that'd be another shopping trip. You could go out and buy all them then, couldn't you? And get your candles while you're there. The Color Riche Matte, and this one is in Matte's It. The other one was Matte Stermind, and you can see it was kind of a light to mid-tone pink. This is going to be your more neutral, kind of like if you like Mac Oak Spice, um... You know, things like that. So use them. Babe. I think this is my favorite. It used to be Matt's Remind, but I think it's Matt's It now. I'm going to have a poll, see how many people do it from the outside in or the inside out. Okay, so there goes our lip line. I know a lot of people say to fill in with this, but. I just don't like that. If you like the whole Naomi Campbell 90s look like I do, I you could fill in a little bit on the sides. Sometimes I do that, but I actually, I like the lip liner. I did notice that they still had some peach shine from L'Oreal on the Walmart. It's just companies that still have it, but... On the Walmart, what does that even mean? Why don't you say at Walmart? Okay, first let's do a little bit of Apricot Fantasy from Revlon. Oh, that's a good one. I don't even know if you need the petal, but the petal, see that's kind of like a metallic. So the petal will give it some oomph. Yes. Okay, that is for the true light nude lover. We might do more than I thought because this is so good. I'm having fun. Okay, let me go take a picture of this to put in here so you can see it in the natural. So you want to do more when you're having fun. What does that say about her fucking subscribers? She asks them for ideas. They give them to her. She doesn't do them. She thinks of something and then because it's fun for her she'll spend ages on it but she doesn't think about anybody else well she won't will she 
Little Miss Narcissist. Natural sunlight. Okay, that might be my favorite. I love it. Okay, I was just comparing this one to the last one. This is gonna be more of your shimmery light nude. The last one is gonna be more of a milky light nude. If you're a nude lip lover, you know what I mean. So I think this one, that is just hard to beat. You've got to get Matt's It and Matt's Mind. You've just got to. No, I hate no. to take that off. There are two more lip liners that are must-haves. And I think you probably know what they are. Long comb ideal. The next one is, oh goodness. Okay. Really, that's not normal, is it? It's normal to get a bit giddy with a new eyeshadow palette or a new thing that you've bought. These are all things that she uses on the daily. Why is she getting so fucking giddy over it? She's sad. And people say I'm jealous of her. Really? Oh yeah, I want to be in a fucking bathroom jumping up and down with delight over nude fucking lip liners. No thanks. Okay, I'm going to go with two more tried and true. So the next one is Magnetic Mauve. If you watched my pink lip video, I will link it up here. This is the lip liner that I used. When Brooke saw my pictures on Instagram, she came and got the whole con combo from me. And so I went and bought another one of the Magnetic Mauve. So this is the roll up. This is a good, good lip liner. You said that about all the of shade them. and the consistency and the way it lasts. Okay, if you want to go with a safer, not quite as nude look then I would go for something maybe like this. This is the matte lip. Okay, let's go ahead and just do this and I can always blot it and then do something else. So this is the matte lip in uh, HD forever. And it's kind of like that whipped consistency. By who? This smells good too, it smells like candy. Go over the liner. So that is gonna give you more of that nudie. Oh, I like that. This one is gonna look really good in photos. It's just gonna give you, like no one's gonna notice, oh, you know, it's just going to look good. Your whole appearance is going to look good. I really like that. So that was the Magnetic Mauve and I think it's HD Forever in this gloss. Let me go take a picture in the sunlight. Yes, yeah, so that is definitely, I love, okay, let's just go from here. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild. Look at that. I, oh, my lipsticks always have like something else on them. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Peach Passion. Yeah, Peach Passion. So if it's definitely Wet n Wild, you could go and get a load of them and then pretend you've got Pat McGrath. <laughs> That's bad though. They blatantly ripped off her design. Can they do that? and go over it and give it that gloss. Mm. See, once you get, I'll list all of these that I'm using and then you can get them and kind of mix them and match them to your taste. Them. Can you not speak properly just for one video, please? But I just think that is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude lip. Okay, this might have to be the last one my lips are you know, turn it a different color from getting stained. Oh, that helped pretty good. Okay. The last one I think everyone needs for a 
fabulous nude lip combo to stand out at any party, and that is Totally Toffee. I think it's a must-have. I got a new one last night. By who? This could be, if you just had one lip liner, this could be it. Right, why don't you try that? Just one lip liner for a week. I'm not saying throw all your stuff out and never use them again. Just for one week, stick to one thing. Could you do that? It'd be like that fucking no buy she did, wouldn't it? I thought she was going to lose the will to live. I really did. It was the funniest thing ever. Oh, I asked her, can I, is exchanges okay? Because she just had to go and get something and she didn't realise then that she had a problem. Goes with everything. There's your totally toffee. And, and you look like you've just been at the fucking chocolate fountain. You're three years old and you haven't wiped your mush. I'm sorry about my stomach if you can hear it. I don't know what it's growling at. It's been fed. And we can go. It's probably moaning because there wasn't, <laughs> wasn't any potatoes or bread. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? <laughs> A couple different directions. I just really think everyone needs this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Moon. And then this is the Sugar High Butter Gloss from NYX. So let's do this one first. Which one? It's a nice kind of like that creamy, nude, tan color. I'll be honest with you guys. What I usually do is I put on a lip combo like that, and then I go to the bathroom, I blot it, and I put a little bit more on. So hold on. You're Seems in. like there is. What does she mean? I go to the bathroom and I blot it. You're in the fucking bathroom. That's where you put your makeup on. For fuck's sake. Always one of these in my potty because I usually toilet. How old are you? It's called a fucking toilet. You three-year-old. Put it on, blot it like this, and then put it on again. Not as heavy. And then that will last. Okay, I just blotted that off. I'm gonna keep that same, let's do the toffee again. Just touch it up a little bit. But see, you should not have to take your lip liner in your purse. It'll stay. After you eat, it'll still be there. You'll have your gloss. You'll just pull out your gloss when you're in the bathroom. And this is the, oh, this is a high-end gloss at the drugstore at Walmart because it feels so good, smells good, and it's beautiful. There you go. Hard to beat that one. Okay. Which one is your favorite? I think I'm gonna end with this. I just love it. I love lipstick. I think lip liner might be one of my most exciting makeup finds. Like when I find a good lip liner, it just opens so many doors with different lipsticks. So I think you need the two L'Oreal. You need... No, we don't need any of them. I love how she does that at the end of a video. You need, you need, you need. I've listed them all down below. They're all affiliate links. Go and fill my purse for me. Thank you. The two Maybelline. The NYX, they're not my favorite. They're for someone. And also the Milani, like the Milani Nude is a great color. This is a good one for someone who just wants a light lip liner, doesn't really necessarily want it to last. Doesn't. But, and then this is one that a lot of people like that I picked up, it's called Nude Truffle. This one is a good one to do a shadow, but it's, it's just not as good as right. the other two. 
This is one I picked up called New Truffle. Doesn't tell us what brand it is. Draws it on her hand, waves her hand around with six swatches on and doesn't tell us which one it is. And yet she has the cheek to call herself a fucking influencer. So I hope you guys saw something that you liked. No, I fucking didn't. And if you would like to see my dress and no. some more party dresses from Walmart, I'm going to do that video next. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Oh, I can't fucking wait. <laughs> I thought that was a picture of Chanel in the middle of going from one thing to the other. It's not. Nice. She's just gone boom on that top thing with her legs hanging off. I'm here, I ain't moving. <laughs> anyway, thank you if you got to the end of this with me and I will catch you in the next one.